Also developing tonight, the man accused of shooting a mother and her little boy in Shaw last week is behind bars. Police say Anthony Bedney is the guy who shot at a family over a scooter. So tonight the family is calling for an end to gun violence. They're pleading with lawmakers to act now. Colby Satterfield live in Shaw for us tonight. So first of all, Colby, how are the mom and son doing tonight? In a family statement released today, it says they are continuing to recover and continuing to ask for privacy as they heal. They are also asking for members of the community to let people know that anyone who intends to do harm is unacceptable and they will be caught. That is a similar conversation that the community had right here today with city leaders and public safety officials. Crime is increasing. People are being shot in front of their homes. Neighbors in the Shaw community are concerned and on edge over what they call an uptick in crime. This homeowner choosing not to show her face, but wants something to be done for people to feel safe in their own front yards. There's people's safety that is truly at risk in certain areas. She says the safety concern goes beyond the shooting of a woman and her five year old son who were shot outside their home over a scooter. She says it's a symptom of a bigger problem and one the community aims to address with dozens of neighbors meeting with city and police officials today walking the streets and pointing out issues they deem unsafe or unhealthy. I walk around my block every as a routine every Saturday and pick up things and for the first time I've been finding needles again and that hasn't happened for at least 10 years. These types of situations bolstering this many neighbors to come out are preventing some from moving in. Fearful it's no longer safe enough. There have been a few instances in the neighborhood where offers on homes have been pulled out because they don't know that they want to bring their families here. And neighbors say the arrest of the man accused of shooting a family can't take the nervousness away. I think will make them feel better temporarily. I think in that the sense that um, someone was identified and they caught, him, caught them. I don't think it um, necessarily will change the sort of an overall sense of unease that this has created. Police here today told people to call 911 if they see anything suspicious or a crime happening. That way it can be on the record. Something good to know, not just for this community, Adam, but all DC communities in general. Yeah, that's what it's going to take. Community support and engagement, just not at the expense of losing more people to the senseless gun violence. Colby, thanks.